All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Rock, your boy from Flip the Thrift. We're getting ready to go look at a house with potential um, free free items. <laughs> So anyway, this is a type of channel that um, I buy things and sell them online. I buy them low, sell them high. If this is the kind of content that you are interested in and you've just tuned into this channel, make sure you guys are going to subscribe to the channel. You smash the thumbs up button and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Anyway, guys, yeah, I got that Jersey accent because I'm from Jersey. Well, I'm from Philadelphia. But I grew up in Jersey. Anyway, my daughter just hit me up. And um, I'm like, why is my daughter calling me? Because my daughter doesn't really call that often. Um, unless she like wants to know something about reselling or, you know, doesn't really call just to say hi because we, we do see each other frequently anyway. So, with that being said, um, she called me up and she said, I've known about this house for a while, but... I haven't heard that I could go through it or pick through it at all yet. So she just called me up and said that they're going through it now. Um, the items are, I guess, I don't know if they're going to throw it away, if they're going to donate it, if the clothing is all going to be, you know, if I have to take it all, if I can go through it. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if it would be easier for me just to, to take it all or to go through all of the bags. Um, if it's a lot, I might just take it all and then just bring it home and then deal with it later. So we're back, and here is the situation, guys. The stuff hanging up, all that stuff over there, that's not it. All of this, okay, all of this, all of this stuff. There was so much stuff, guys, it was really hard to decide. All this stuff here, the light's not on, so it's not bright. What I'm going to do is, in order to, do, in order to do this, I'm going to have to go through, I have to go through everything. There's no way... And I'm just going to probably point out the items that are, you know, probably the more higher end stuff. And then there's a whole container. Well, it's not whole, but there is some stuff. My daughter was there before me and she was picking out items like, look at that. I think it's a Drew Pearson Miami Dolphins. I mean, there's definitely a lot of potential value sitting here. And then there's all that stuff sitting there. And then that's it. So let's get to work. Alright guys, so what an amazing haul. I got everything um, sorted out. There's a little bit of clothing here. There's some games down here. There's the Barbies. I got rid of the Cabbage Patch and the um, there was a Rainbow Bright Doll. They're only like 10 bucks. Like there's just certain things that I just don't even want to delve into. So I just kind of just, I'm just going to get rid of them. But anyway, these are all clothing. A lot of these are vintage Pearl Snaps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them. There's cassettes. I'm just going to go through and show you guys the best items. But right now, we have 10 items to ship. So I'm going to go to the shop and ship my items. All right, guys. So we're at the shop. I did get my items. Got them all done. Thanks to my, to my lovely wife showed me how to do them in order. There really wasn't no, no rhyme or reason. When I was doing it before, I would just wrap everything not in order. And just print the labels out and everything would just be sporadically, you know, sporadic, whatever. Everything would just be scattered everywhere and it would be a nightmare. Now when I do this, I put everything in order. The labels are here and I can just go boom, 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 straight down the line. Instead of walking back and forth and wasting mad time just like scrambling. So I don't do that no more. Thanks, babe, for showing me. Sometimes it takes more heads, you know. Two heads are better than one, right? Sometimes it takes more brains to get the operation moving. So um, even when she moves on, eventually she will move on to doing something else. Um, hopefully she finds her calling. And uh, because I know she doesn't want to do this with me forever, I don't want to do eBay forever either. This is just a stepping stone for me to do something else to make way more money. Like I still want to be happy, so whatever I do, I have to be happy or I'm not going to do it. So... Anyway, we're going to put the labels on, we're going to go home, um, and then I'm going to show you guys exactly what I got that is is worth showing. Everything else is just whatever. I, I, I don't want to bore you with all of the all of the little stuff in between. I'm just going to show you the bolos that, that were in that pile, and remember, everything was free, so the profit is 100%. 
All right, guys, so we're going to get it started. I'm going to grab things periodically and just kind of show you what I have. I'm going to just keep I'm um, trying not to just do the whole video all in a row because um, I do still have to kind of shuffle through some things and I don't want to bore you with a two hour long video. So we're going to try to squeeze this up and get some editing done into this video. And I'm just going to focus on the high end items. And here, here is the keyboard that I got at the shop yesterday. So this is the Mark, it's a Microsoft natural ergonomic 4000 keyboard. All right. So be on the lookout for these keyboards that kind of like wave like that. They're kind of like, wee. um, that means they're ergonomic, which is like, just for your hands, the way that you place them, but it is brand new, still has the factory seals on both sides. Um, all right, guys, so here's one of the items that you guys should be looking out for. This is a Polaroid. This one is a Polaroid Impulse. Um, the only thing that goes up, I think, is just the, that goes up. And, all right, guys, anyway, I want to suck your blood. What? Ah, ah. Okay, so this is the Hallmark giant white glow-in-the-dark fang um it's actually a candy dish you put candy in it and i'm not sure of the year i was looking for the year it doesn't say it It does still have that um sticker on it this sells for over a hundred dollars um it's kind of amazing i actually seen this in a video i can't remember the video or i would shout out the, the person that uploaded that video that um gave out that information to to see this anywhere you would not know that these are worth that much I mean, I can see why. I'm pretty sure they came out. They came and they went. It is really unique. These are really cool. They're big fangs. They don't do anything. It's just a candy dish. So really cool find. Make sure you guys are looking for this um, when you guys are out in the field. All right, guys. So another cool find. This is a car surf by B B E E. Um, this sells for about $40. If the condition of this was brand new, um, it would probably sell for more than that, but I should probably get at least anywhere between like $20 and $30 for this plus shipping. This is just a car console slash cooler. Um, I guess you could throw some ice in this, put some cans of soda since this goes in your car. Um, but I guess you could, got a handle on it. I guess you could take it anywhere. So this just sits in your car, sits in the console, um, generally in like vans and um, ones that have like that big space on the floor right there, but... Either way, whatever, it's got the cup holders on it. It's just really cool. You could probably even tailgate with this thing. It's pretty dope. But definitely, if I, when I seen it, um, my daughter showed it to me, and I was like, yeah, grab that. I was like, because I know that's probably worth a few bucks. All right, so when I was I was on one of the floors, I'm not sure what floor I was on, but um, the guy that was doing the clean out, he actually brought this to me. So um, probably not going to sell for a ton of money, but it is a marble. Adventure Team Jacket. So we're definitely going to get a decent amount for this. It's got the hood on it. It's just like the anorak, I guess, you know, the windbreaker type of deal. But um, the condition is really, really good. So Check out this Woolrich. I think that this is women's too. I think a lot of the clothing that I did find is probably women's. Um, this is on, a, on an older Woolrich tag. So it's just like a corduroy button, button down. Really neat. Then check out this Pendleton skirt. Check that out. 100% wool Pendleton. Look at that. That is really cool. It's like a schoolgirl type of deal. It is 100% wool vintage Pendleton. That's probably a $50 skirt right there. Remember, we didn't really we didn't invest anything but time. So this is on an old Hanes tag. Anytime you can see you can find these older thermals, they tend to do very well. All right, guys, I don't want to bore you with much more of these books, but here's the complete Beatles. This is like a really thick song book. Um, this one is one. That one is A, A to I, and this one is I to Z. So I do have the whole set. Unfortunately, that one has a bent corner on it. I don't know if that happened um, in transit when we were moving everything, but uh, it is what it is. Dwight Yoakam Deluxe Anthology. This is a cool song book. That one actually has some decent value. Led Zeppelin Complete Guitar. I would expect this to be worth more than what it is, but it's not worth that much. Then we have the Violin Bow. Um, Rehair and Repair. This is like a $20 book, maybe a little bit more. Then we have the Who, Who's Next. 
another songbook. I think this one has a little bit of value, not much. I think this Steely Dan was worth 20 or more. I think this one had some good value. And then there's just a ton of guitar books. I'm not going to go through all of them. we got Guitar Method. Um, there's a bunch of um, magazines also. Then there's Stride Guitar, Solo Guitar. Like There's just tons of guitar books, and we don't have time to go through all of them. All right, so let's go over these hats real quick. Found this Jordan hat. I can't find, um, it does have the Nike on the back. Really cool Jordan hat. I should be able to sell this. I shouldn't have an issue with this. It does have some distress right here. There's a big chunk out of it there, but there is no tag on the inside. It would be great if it had like a white tag on the inside. That would be super awesome, but it doesn't have a tag on it. It could be bootleg. I'm not sure. Um, I'll try to find it and we'll go from there. And another really cool, this is 100% wool. Check out this really cool Reebok hat. It's like a color block type of deal. It is 100% wool. It's not made in USA. It's, you know, it's made in China, but it's still pretty cool. But it is missing, it's missing the cap on the top. So, yeah, these, were, these items in this house were not treated very very kindly. So then we have a field and stream, or they were just worn with love, you know, however you want to put it. Um, I think I have one of those listed. This one is a Dunlop, and it is totally trashed. I'll probably just throw that one away. That one's probably not really, probably not worth anything. Let's see what we got here. We have a, we have a Blackhawks, Chicago Blackhawks. This one is a, this one's a Logo 7. We have a Redskins. This one is, is this one a Pearson or not really sure. Just a Washington Redskins. This guy folded his hats like really weird and they kind of just bent them all up. Check out this Flyers. It's got this spell out. It's really dirty, but I'm probably just going to sell it anyway. Then we have this Miami Dolphins. This one is, not sure. Not sure what this one is. It's pretty dirty on the inside, but he just totally trashed all the brims and this one is a youngin. That one's a youngin hat. All right, guys, and there was a ton of cassette tapes. These ones are like all classical music, the best of. I'll probably lock them together. And then this is more, this one's like all guitar, like guitar magic. Um, there could be a couple bangers in here. I'm gonna have to look. There's more cassette tapes too. Where did they go? And these are in a bag marked large. And the suspenders inside are kind of like brand new so i think that these are military they say trousers shell field 1951 so yeah these are definitely these are vintage was that vietnam it was 1951 no vietnam was 60s right 1951 all right so we should do all right with these i don't know if they're new or not but they look like they're in pretty good shape I wouldn't exactly say no, I don't think they're new. The suspenders on them look new. Well, I found the rest of the tapes. There was a bunch of board games. Um, I did grab all of them, cause obviously even if they sell for $15, um, they were all, they're all, they'll be all profit. This game is called Axis and Allies. This is a Milton Bradley game. It is, I'm not sure what year it's from, but it's pretty old. Anyway, this game sells for about $50 if it's in really good condition and mine is in really good condition like the box is perfect underneath looking good graphics are great um this game is just in great condition um i don't expect to get less than 50 i got it good all right so i am going to do a little bit more research on this this is a dunway borg pro um i seen one sell for like 600 dollars, so i'm like whoa what's going on with this with this tennis racket what is the deal so this one is a light Five made in Belgium by the world's largest manufacturing of tennis rackets. So yeah, and then it's got I, this is probably all of the the specific characteristics or whatever of this racket, but it does have the piece, but I don't have the cover for it. Um, the one that sold for six hundred dollars had the cover, so we're gonna have to do a little bit more research on this racket and see what all the hype is going on with this. Um, because it is in really good condition. The one that sold was not even strong. It was it didn't even have the didn't even have the net on it, so I don't know. And we found this really cool Elgin 
sewing machine. I didn't test it, so I don't know if it works. Um, I'm going to put this down because it's really heavy. When we got to the house, they had already been through a lot of the stuff, and they had already bagged it all up. So what I had to do was I had to open all of the trash bags and actually go through all of the bags. But in doing that, I did find a lot of cool stuff. This big, um, this is a pocket rocket. This is like a guitar amplifier type of deal, and it does work. Um, the box was laying here, and this was laying there. Like Found this cool lamp. I cleaned it up. A lot of the lamps that I see, this part right here is really yellow. So I don't know if it's just that type of plastic that they made this lamp out of, but it's worth like $15 or $20. It does work. I did put a bulb in it, and it does light up. I don't think that these are new. I think they were used, but um, I don't know if I'm going to sell them in a set or if I'm going to sell them, you know, one one at a time. But look, they were only $14, and you know, people now people are paying 30 or more for them. So I think I see them selling for like 35 bucks. And then I'm going to get to a couple more clothing items, and we should be done. But I wanted to show you these. These are really cool. Let me try not to break them. These are an iridescent icicle. You can see that they have the. The, um, these are just ornaments, but these are really cool. Um, and these sell for about 20 bucks. Sister, This one my daughter found. This one is an, a hard rock cafe. This one is made in USA. Has a really cool V guitar on the back. Um, there was, I, I'm guessing that they were, they were a Ravens fan. This is like brand new. Another little Ravens jacket. Um... The, the rest of these are going to be pearl snaps. I'm going to go really quick. This one is a Kenny Rogers. It has like a button, has the button piece that just kind of folds down. It has the denim on the other side. Pretty cool. Um, then, like I said, a lot of these were women's. This one is a Miss Rodeo America. That one's pretty cool. Then we have the, uh, this one needs wash. This one is a Kenny Rogers. It's just like a fleece vest that definitely needs to be washed. That one, that one's dirty. And then this, I think, is a band. So I think I seen one listed for like fifty bucks. So Gary Howie, American Made, really cool. Um, I see the album and I see the shirt. So I don't know if this is country. I don't know what that is, but I think that that shirt's worth a decent amount. <clears throat> this one is a Wanted by Beads Beautiful. This one's really cool. It has like little. It has like little embellishment, like little, you know, little fake little diamonds or whatever you want to call that. Um, I guess just embellished, whatever. And then it has the fringe. That one's really cool. This one is a Wrangler Silver Lake. Never seen one like that one. That one's really cool. Another it has like a little open spot in the back. That one's neat. This one is, I think this is another Wrangler. This is another Wrangler Western Wear for Women. That one's cool. That one's got a dope design on it. That one's neat. That one's cool. There's another one. This one is a ranch. This one is made in USA. That one's a ranch. That one's got little flowers on it. That one's cool. I think that one's women's too. <clears throat> There's another one. This one is Miller's Harness Company. This one has like shoulder pads on it. I know that this is a women's. It's got a cool design on it. That one's like an 80s, 90s vibe. We have the Star Wars brand new stocking. All right, no good. That one's just a basic shirt. Then we have the Nicket. We have the Nicket Knight. No, we have the Nicket. This is just a pearl snap. It's like kind of like a velour type of material, almost like a um, like a corduroy. <clears throat> then we have this marlin. It's just a white marlin open. I think it's like two, 2002, so this one is vintage. That one's 20 years old. <clears throat> I couldn't find any of these. This is a Vicki Davis. Probably women's. I think that this is a women's. Vicki Davis, it's just got like arrows all over it. This is 100% silk. It's just like a suit. What do you call it? Like a little suit um, vest or whatever. Try to get through this quick. I think this one had some stains on it. This one is a border town. A lot of, lot of shirts like this, this. This one's cool. That one has yellow flowers on it. I think that one has some has a few stains on it. That one has, yeah, that one just says Wolf Country on it. That's pretty cool. It is what it is. 
Sorry guys, I didn't mean to make this video so long. I really didn't want it to be long like that. This one is Quicksilver. It's got the spell outs on the sleeves and it's pretty cool. Then we have a, what's that called? A brassiere or whatever. It has some stains on it. I'm going to try to get it out. It is made, so this is going to need washed as well. It's made by Lady Marlene. Lady Marlene. It might be old. It might not be old. It could be from Spencer's. Not really sure. I'll have to look it up. This one has an outer, just a plain outer banks. Nothing special. Then we're going to get to the sweaters. We're going to get to some champions. This one is... This one's just on a regular sweat. This one says Scotland on it. That was pretty cool. That's plain. Don't care. Um, this one is an older one too. It has a date on it. It's like 97, something like that. It's got a cool eagle on the front of it. Then we have a champion. Nope, not a champion, but this one is older, made in USA. It's got some cowboys on it. That one's pretty cool. All right, guys, we're getting through, getting through. This one, as it says, when guns are outlawed, it says we'll be outlaws. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Then this one is on a discus. I think it has a little hole in it. Yeah, it's got a little hole in it, but these tend to sell for about $30. It's made in USA. That one's vintage. That's junk. Don't worry about that. And we got some remotes. Not worried about those. Just trying to get through the clothing, guys. And then here's the champion. Reverse weave. I think this one is made in USA. This one is made in USA. It's on a large tag, which is going to be probably too, too small for me. It looks like it's too small, but reverse weaves do very well. You should get a decent amount for that. I don't know why I grabbed these, but whatever. If I get 10 bucks a pop on them, Mr. Ducks, none of them are vintage. They're all from like the mid 2000s, like 20s whatever then we have a pink one another another mr. duck mr. ducks and I think this is an express pearl snap express pearl snap whatever nothing special this I think is vintage that's the reason why I grabbed it it is a, and J Crew is a really good brand I shouldn't have no problem selling this it's a heavyweight um, flannel really nice this thing has some stains on it, but I couldn't figure out what it was. So I was like, you know what, let me just grab it and we'll just kind of go from there. It has a cool design on it. I think the design is on, it's around the collar too. So it has that cool design on the collar and then in the front. So pretty sure that's women's. And then check this out, guys. This is one of the coolest ones. I think this is on an H bar C. <clears throat> Be on the lookout for that brand. That's a good brand. Bolo. Um, this one is all floral, so that's really, really cool. I'm not sure what this is worth. I didn't look it up yet, but bing, or bing, wherever it's going to go. Probably, probably over there. Right? I'm going to flip the video around too, because the video is backwards, because I always use my phone. I probably should use my GoPro, but I can't see what I'm doing. This is on a Campus Man Fit. Another pearl snap. Well, it's not really a pearl snap. It's a full cut, long tail. Just a real. It's just like a vintage thin flannel. Pretty cool. And what do we have here? I think this is a Woolrich. No, this is on a Gander. Gander Mountain, which is just a an outdoor brand. It's gonna need cleaned up a little bit. It's just a heavyweight, um, like a like a chamois. And this one, I'm not sure. This is on a George, so this is just like a Walmart, Target brand or whatever. But it's a nice, it is a nice um, heavy flannel. So maybe I'll get a few bucks for that. I don't think that that's an old brand. I don't think they've been out that long. And then we got an old Navy flannel. Nothing, nothing crazy. It is what it is. Then we have an old Van Heusen. 417, just a, an old thin short sleeve. I think it has plenty of stains on it, so I don't know what we're doing with that. And then I think, we'll save that for later. We got an old army canteen. Might be able to get something for that. And then the, this is like an organ slash type, of, like a piano, like a mini organ. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely old. Whenever you see that pin board, 
um, that whatever that whatever this is called post board or put whatever that's called um, that usually indicates that it's a pretty old item probably you know like 50s 60s something like that maybe 70s it needs cleaned up but it does work I don't know what it's worth though but we're gonna find out and then last but not least guys we gotta end the video I can't keep going and going and going like an energizer bunny I gotta stop and I gotta do something with this stuff. It can't sit here all day. It's gotta get out of this room. I gotta get it listed. Be on the lookout for Scully. Scully's a really good brand. Um, it's probably silk in the back, I'm guessing. It's made in India, but Scully's a really good brand. I've never found a green one before. This is just like a like a dress vest. It's probably women's. <clears throat> it is a large, so it might be men's, but it's just like a snap and it's like a leather, it's like a suede. But anyway, really cool. I'm sure this is probably somewhere between $40 and $50. I don't know. We'll find out when we see the screenshot, wherever it is. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's all she wrote. I don't have time to go on and on and on and show you all of the, all the little... I basically showed you probably too much. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash the thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I post another video. And uh, you won't be sorry. So and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace out.